first time fishing adventures. Uh, thank you. I'll get you back. Great. I was like, there's just so many people. When I first was doing YouTube, or should I say when I first created my account and everything, um, I never really considered it something I would go on for. I was using it to research things. Um, I mean, how to fix the car, how to fix the washing machine, um, doing stuff with the kids when I was playing and all that kind of thing. There was always something. Oh, I got three people in here so far. 351 Cleveland and First Time Fishing Adventures. What's up, guys? Hopefully y'all are having a good night. Um, I got on a little bit early here. Um, let's see. <laughs> What's up, Matt? I don't have this set up through um, StreamYard or anything. I just went through YouTube allowed me to actually go live through my laptop. It won't allow me to go live through my um, phone right now. Um, Hey, Blake Dotson. Um, right now, the most sensitive fishing rod I have actually used would be my sit skill um, siren rod. I absolutely love that rod. Unfortunately, I snapped the end off of it not too long ago. I've got to get with sit skill and try to get a replacement for it here in the near future. I went to pull it out of my truck, and when I went to pull it out, the way I grabbed the tip, it just snapped the tip off of it, unfortunately. That was just stupidity of trying to get out a fast, quick, get a very sensitive rod that has um good feel to it for a... I'd missed a fish with a... Um, I was throwing a crankbait and Mr. Fish, wanted to throw a soft plastic in there, and I just kind of broke it off. Uh, compared to my other rods, that rod is very light. I had it had a um, sit skill wraith bait caster on it. It was one of my go-to combos. Um, unfortunately, I backlashed the wraith. Shortly after I broke the rod and I stripped the gears out on it. So I've got to send both of those back or send the wraith off to get fixed and get the um, rod redone. They have a awesome customer service at SitSkill. So I need to get me a box together and send everything in. I think I got four or five reels I've had three or four years from them that just need some maintenance and up upgrading. They've come out with better bearings and um, stuff since I've got them. So I need to invest a little bit of money, get the ceramic bearings in them and stuff. So, but they have a really good replacement with everything. Um, the other rod I like from them is actually a eight and a half foot arachni crappy rod that I have from them. Um, I'll use it for um, micro lures such as little rooster tails or I've thrown the finesse swim bait on it here recently and I've had, it's got a good backbone for sitting the hook. But at eight and a half foot long, it's very flexible. And I can actually feel, feel a fish bite on it very well. Um, I don't... Hey, Tina. How's it going, young lady? Um, I did do a 
giveaway video I posted that sometime this morning or this afternoon. I'm on hotel internet, so it took like four hours to post a five or six minute video. Um, give me just a second. In that video, I've had, I've got this, um, KVD Strike King Red Eye Shad. It's a sexy shad color, and it's got a two-tap tungsten weight in it. Um, this one is three-quarter ounce. The one I've been throwing is only half ounce. I've had a few videos here lately using the same bait, where I have had the hooks broken off of them and I've had the paint knocked off of them. I've caught so many fish here lately on this particular bait. Um, I see Mr. First Time Fishing Adventures in here. I was actually out fishing with him and Paul Man Bassin and HK2 Productions I think back on Memorial Day and I did not have a channel yet or it was right around that time, and I backlashed numerous times that day, and I finally said, you know what, I'm going to pull my camera out I had bought from Wish and start filming as Backlash Fisherman, because I think I spent more time backlashing than I did um, fishing that day. That's why Paul Man whooped up on me. Um, along with the giveaway, I have some quarter ounce bullet weights here I'll be giving away this camera is actually doing really good for picking this stuff up uh, I've got some four four all um, fusion hooks these are the type of hooks I was using before I switched over I've become um, pro staff recently with vector hooks I've got to do an order for them again I have it done that lately i need to get some more from them and then last but not least i've got a pack of eight inch um magnum lizards and june bug red i think that's gonna be a good color especially coming up whether it's through the winter when you have to slow rock, slow fish on the bottom that's gonna be a good color for any type of water and also a lizard dropped on a bed in the spring will absolutely get destroyed quickly. I have found that out this past year. Um, thanks to Paul Man Bassin for helping me with that. And um, First Time Fishing Adventures, they've taught me some different techniques. Um, hopefully, I've got a feeling on my next giveaway which if i keep growing the way i have been will be coming up very soon i'll probably have to do that at 150 because i had no idea i'd jump from 38 to whatever i'm at now i, I was at 77 this morning oh uh, let's see back out of that right now it is showing me at 80 subscribers so, last, not this Saturday, but last Saturday, I was only at 38 subscribers. Now I'm at 80. So, I've gained, what, 52 subscribers and, or 42 subscribers in a week and two days, or three days. Um, anybody else have any other questions? Um, Blake, those were great questions. I appreciate it. The Dobson Splits it Channel, what's up? I do have a Coleman Crawl Dad. You will, uh, I know you saw a video about that a couple, a few weeks back. Me and First Time Fishing Ventures did get out on that the other day, and we had some fun in it. Um, that will definitely be coming into play a lot more in the coming weeks or months and stuff. 
to get off of the bank and get out to deeper water where these fish are going to start heading to. Um, um, I'm also on Team Fobo, which is first time or flat out bank anglers. I am a part of that team now. Um, I have primarily been bank fishing a lot. Um, but now with this boat, I can get off of the bank a little bit. Some of these ponds are have maybe 10% of them are fishable by bank and 90% will be by boat. So hopefully I can start getting to some of these different fish. Game foul outdoors. What's up, buddy? The name sounds looks familiar. I, I think you're one of my newer subscribers. I really haven't seen you much but yet. Um, have I gotten a trolling motor yet? I have had a subscriber reach out to me and tell me that he has a trolling motor in storage. I am hoping that he, him and his wife just had a newborn kid maybe about three weeks ago. He reached out to me right before they had the kid. Unfortunately, his wife had some major, major issues with the delivery. Um, they actually have had her in a coma for a couple weeks, been saying lots of prayers and keeping up with him. Um, he said he went by a storage unit the other day. He found the box to the trolling motor, but not the trolling motor. So he's going to try get to get it with his brother, see if he's got it. And he's told me that he was going to give me the trolling motor, some fishing baits, and hopefully a few reels. Um, he used to be on a collegiate team and was sponsored by Luz at the time. So he's got multiples of a lot of things. Um, he wants to get it to my channel and also do it as kind of like an early Christmas present. We will, I know right now he's got a lot of family issues, so hopefully, I know he said the other day, I talked to him earlier this early or middle of last week, he said his wife was finally home after about three or four weeks in the hospital. So definitely been keeping him in my thoughts and prayers. I know no, he said she's having to learn how to walk from scratch from everything. That's how bad off she was. So I'm not in any rush. If he gets it to me, he gets it to me. If not, I've got my eye on a trolling motor for that boat. Um, it's a, if I don't get that, there's a Minn Kota transom mount trolling motor at a marine, marine and sporting goods store close by me and it's for under two hundred dollars so i can i can see doing that or right at two hundred dollars but we'll see um i'm looking at putting some i'm gonna try to get some probably quarter to half inch plywood to put in the bottom of the boat so i can um make it a little more stable Small water charters. What is up, buddy? I saw y'all had, uh, looks like you and your wife had a good day of fishing earlier. I started watching the um, video and then got caught up with some work first thing this morning. Uh, I need to get back on there and rewatch that for you, get you some more watch hours and drop you a like and comment on that. Or at least where you, um, Posted something about a good day of having 15 fish on the boat already. I did see that. Um, Game foul. Thank you for being a new follower. I uh, hope, hope you like everything you're seeing so far. Um, I am primarily um, fishing. I used to hunt. Um. I used to deer hunt and duck hunt and bird hunt a lot, do some squirrel hunting and stuff. Unfortunately, I am colorblind, so 
being colorblind and hunting don't always mix, especially when you're trying to duck hunt. That yeah, it's too hard to tell what type of bird coming in on the fly. So I have pretty much given up hunting just out of the fact that I couldn't tell for some and then also with the deer if I did wound one I would have to call Buddy to come track it because being colorblind I could not pick up on the um, blood trails. All right. Sorry, I keep looking to the right. I'm watching the chat. But as for the troll motor, I've got one possibly coming. I've been looking at a few. So hopefully I'll have something before too long. Once I do, I'll definitely get that subscriber a big shout out if he gets that stuff to me, like he said. But he is dealing with some um, family medical issues. Thank God it's not COVID related issues. But. All right. Um, as you can see on my shirt, I am a volunteer fireman. Um, when I'm not at work or. Well, I'm not, I've actually had a video, I think, coming up. I don't know how much is in that video I gotten out there. I think I caught one or two fish and my pager went off. I don't know if I'll just scrap that. Um, I don't know if I'll just scrap that um, video or not because about half after I caught maybe the first or second fish, I think I did have a fire call and I had to go and perform CPR one day. So I do, I have left fishing holes just to go help people, help people, whether it's a wreck, a fire, we do get CPR calls and stuff. Um, yeah, the $200 is just a basic trolling motor you mount on the back of the boat. It's, tiller drive it doesn't have spot lock or anything like that i think it has five forward and three reverse so i think the one that the subscriber was talking about getting to me i think he said it's a um motor guide at side at side three or something like that I think that's what he said it was. I don't think it's um transom mount, but if if he gets it to me like he says, then I'm sure between me, Paul Man Bassin, and first time fishing adventures, we're gonna figure out a way to mount it to the boat. Let's see. Yeah, the XI-3 is a motor guide. And it would be a nicer um, motor than what I'm looking at currently. So, we'll see how that goes. Um, like I said, I did do the um, giveaway video, video earlier today. If I think a lot of y'all have already commented on it. If you haven't, go look, go on my page, look at it, and don't forget to comment with hashtag 50 subscriber giveaway, all one word. And next Tuesday, while I'm on live, I'm going to try to figure out between now and then how to do the random comment generator and stuff. I'll probably pull that up on my phone between now and then. and play around with it some just to see make sure I'm good with using it before I come live next Tuesday so I'm going to try to start making these lives uh, every Tuesday night um, seems like here lately I've been trying some different baits but I keep going back to there's a little lunker hunt finesse um it's like a little finesse swim bait. I picked it up at Walmart and 
Basically, it's a Ned hit, Ned rig head with a little three inch paddle tail on the back. I think the top of it is clear, and the bottom of it is like a opaque or bone color white with some silver flake in it. And that little finesse swim bait has caught me more fish in the last three to four weeks than um, any bait I've thrown here lately. All right, small water charters. Um, good luck with your editing, sir. Have a wonderful afternoon. I can't wait to see that video because I know there's going to be some good bass and probably some big bass in there. Oh, Paul Man Bassin is in here. Paul Man, if you hadn't seen them, there's your um, lizards that you want to buy. I got them in Junebug Red just for that um, other day, back on Memorial Day, where you, I took you out there and you caught, what, 15 fish and didn't move an inch from the spot? Throwing a nice big old lizard out there. That beat all I ever seen. He he kept throwing lizards out there in the same spot, bouncing a few times, and he'd have a fish on. And me and first time fishing adventures and HK2 Productions, we'd throw out there and we throw five or six times, never get a fish. He'd get a fish every five or six cast. I don't know how he was working that lizard, but whatever he was doing, they loved it. <laughs> when I go out fishing with Paul Man Bass and he has a, the way he does things is for the competition for that day to, for who wins the fishing trip, it's first fish, most fish or biggest fish. Oh, biggest small water charts, no giants, biggest is fourish. Well, if your biggest today was four fourish pounds, then that's about four times bigger than my biggest fish this past weekend. I think my biggest fish was thirteen and a half inches. He may have weighed might have been just over a pound. <laughs> Most of everything else was eight to ten inches and might have been a quarter pound. Or as there's one guy on YouTube that I like watching. His name is Realistic Fishing. Or his name is Alex. His channel is Realistic Fishing. And he um he calls them quarter pounders with cheese. <laughs> I like that. I'm going to have to film a short for him for um, you're watching first, you're watching realistic fish and keep it realistic because I do like Mr. Alex. I think he fishes somewhere in Tennessee. I'm, normally I'm in North Carolina, in eastern North Carolina. Here, here for the last seven weeks, I've been up in West Virginia, just west of Charleston, West Virginia. Construction jobs can take you anywhere in the country, unfortunately. <laughs> All right. Wife sent me a text message. Oh. I don't know how many of y'all have Facebook, but if you do have Facebook, there's a gentleman up there. His name is Mr. Bo Merkel. Um, he owns a company called Samson's Lures, S-A-M-S, then capital S-O-N. He does a phenomenal job painting lures, and he just posted a shad that he has coming up soon. I don't know if y'all can see that, but there's his shad that he just posted on Facebook. Um... 
he does a phenomenal job with painting lures and he does a lot of he goes live every Friday night, I think around eight o'clock in the afternoon. And he does, when he's live, he's actually up there painting his lures while he's live. And he'll take requests for what you want, how you want a bait painted. And if you want to go ahead and purchase it from him, he'll let you go ahead and purchase it right off of the live. A lot of times he'll or paint three or four in the same pattern and there's a um fish and tackle auction website on facebook that he'll post them to and he'll auction the baits off sometimes you can get some good baits for a cheap price i did a cat i did a video not too long ago where i was using one of his um square bills that he had painted like a crawfish and I ended up I caught a couple of bass on it in one video and then the other video I showed where I was using it and I hooked the catfish and lost it and then I put a four pound nine ounce catfish on that um, square bill which was a very fun fight for a catfish to hit a square bill Um, let's see if first time fishing adventures is still in here I'm hoping to get my boat out this coming weekend if possible I'd like to I'd like to go to the gameland pond on highway 33 with it at least for a little bit Saturday morning I'd I have to see how everything goes at this point in time. I know Friday, I'll, my daughter is in pre-K and they have a field trip Friday to a pumpkin farm. So hopefully if I do the family thing Friday all day with my wife and four-year-old, hopefully that will or me some time to go out to take my boat out and go fishing. Um, I'm hoping to get out there probably about seven o'clock since that's about um, sunrise and we'll go from there. Maybe fish two or three hours out there. Paul, man, if you want to go, I guess you're going to have to take off work and come on with us. I would hate to have to catch more fish than you again, though. <laughs> you know I got to throw that out there. I'll let the video speak for it. I'll let that video, when I can get it edited, speak for itself for first time fishing adventures. <laughs> but I will say he had a let his last cast that day had a awesome blow up, and I hope I got it all. I hope I got that um, blow up in the catch on that frog that from there for his very last cast. <laughs> um, we did me first time fishing adventures and Paul Man Bassin did a collab probably not this past weekend but the weekend before that. We all showed up at a pond at seven o'clock. Me and um first time fishing adventures had about two hours to fish and so we decided since my boat doesn't have a trolling motor yet we do a 2v1 challenge since paul man bassin has a trolling motor um i caught two fish which were the first two fish on my coleman crawdad i made me very happy that i was able to get the skunk off of that boat and we had a with me and first time fishing adventures both in the boat it handled very well it was an awesome time so definitely want to do that again here in the near future um we'll see what we can come up with for that i'm sure we'll get something going 
if I ever get out of West Virginia, I'm going to take some. <laughs> Definitely wasn't fair. Well, if you had decided to hook bass and not chain pickerel, you would have whooped us both. <laughs> Unfortunately, you wanted to just hook chain pickerel out there. You didn't want to hook any good sized bass. But I will say yours was what a. I think I caught a 14 and a half inch in Paul Man Bassin. He caught the first fish of the day, and his fish was a quarter inch bigger than mine. Hmm. His was a quarter inch bigger than my biggest fish, so I will definitely say that in his terms of fishing, he did win that day, but we were doing a whoever catches the most. Uh, first time, I think Paul Man's got to work this Saturday, unfortunately. But where he works, they're getting into their busy time of the year with the holidays coming up. So we might not see much fishing from him here for a little bit. I know Paul Man and First Time's in here. It's showing three people. I don't know who the third person is. They're not commenting. I did take my wife and kid over to Academy this past Saturday, and my daughter picked up a um set of three or four inch suicide shad swim baits and then my wife picked out a Guggen Squad mini banger that's in a sexy shad color so I might have to do a wife and daughter um pick my baits video here shortly i did not film inside the store um we'll have to see how how i can do that video but they did pick out a couple of baits for me um i was actually kind of surprised this on Sunday, I went out and I threw a chatterbait around for about, um, I threw a chatterbait for a little over an hour, hour and a half. I never had a hit on a chatterbait with a, um, Ozark Trails paddle tail on the back of it. So, then I switched up and threw in the same spot with that little, Lunker Hunt Finesse swim bait, and sure enough, I caught a fish on the first cast. I, I don't know what the difference is other than that one didn't have to chatter to it. Oh, let's see. I will probably Friday be be going up on um matter of fact I had, you're talking about um getting skunked yesterday paul man i went to bethel about two or three weeks ago i went out there on a sunday morning got out there about seven o'clock and stopped about um nine or ten o'clock that sunday i never had a single bite in three to four hours out at the pond I normally fish at um so my intro is from the morning and then the very next clip is kind of a secondary intro saying that I came back that afternoon it was a struggle day I have a non-fish catch in there and I did redeem myself that afternoon and caught four or five 
decent fish. So um, I actually got skunk. I actually took a skunk at Bethel Pond not too long ago. And luckily that afternoon I was able to go out there and they were starting to eat. But there's not many times I go out to that pond by my house that I get skunk, but so Patrick, when you say you got skunk, was that at um the shallow farm? I know you said you had gone out there. I think that's kind of why I want to go to try the Highway 33 game lands and not shot for them at this point. If you got skunked, I know me and Glad's going to get skunked there. I guess they won't chase and chat out there yet. The feed up for winter. But that might change because... I know up here in West Virginia, we've gone from 40s and 50s for lows to uh, mid to low 30s up here. And that whole front side goes his way. So that might change the fish and get more into um, winter mode. All right. Looks like y'all are the only two left in here now. So. Oh, yeah. We can definitely bounce ideas off of each other being in the same boat. It does help. I think in uh, four or five years, I have been out at Shallow Farm Pond. I think the only time I've caught a fish out there has been with a... Um, I think I used a packet of um, live crawdad or live worms and a cork. First time fishing adventure, I think your technique is about the best winter technique there is to me, which is the jerk bait. I've actually got one sitting in my on my um, rod rack. I've got to pull out and start fishing with it. So um, I might do that this weekend. Yeah, a rattle trap and then bounce it up and down off the bottom like a um like it's a Texas rig. That's the way um my buddy Wayne catches fish out at um Meadowbrook. But the downside out there is there's a lot of hang ups. So definitely I have to have a boat for that. I think I'm going to try to let this go for about another five minutes, guys. When I hit 45 minutes, I'm going to probably stop it for tonight. I do thank y'all, too, for tuning in and 
staying with me the whole time. It looks like everybody else has left, unfortunately. Um, normally for me, wintertime fishing, I will use jerk baits. I'll try to slow roll a chatter bait along the bottom or I will use a big swim jig with a um, nice big um, creature bait on the back of it. Okay. Hey, 351. Is there anything you would like to ask her? Abila, is there anything you would like to ask of me, sir? Um... I do know out at um, the, the Meadowbrook Pond that, that I'm going to start going to now that it's going to start getting colder and the five million snakes that are out there will start going down in the ground and getting out of the trees or be so lethargic they won't attack you. I'll probably start throwing some big um some black and blue cinco's or a big um jig of some sort like a football head jig or something back in that Greenville Lake off of the shore. The Dobson's explicit channel is still here too. If either y'all two would like to ask a question of me, I'll be free I'll feel free to answer any way I can. <laughs> swim baits the Huddleston and Deluxe. Yeah, now that I have a couple of Huddlesons, I might have to start throwing in, but they run more on the top. So I think that's going to be more of a summertime blow up bait, but it might work in the winter. I'm sure there'll be, um, if a fish is hungry, they're going to come up and slam whatever they see. Because they're going to be looking for that one time big meal and then go back and rest. Use as little energy as possible and get as big of a meal as they can. I still got outdoors with Big Matt up on my cell phone. As long as it's playing for him, it's giving him some watch hours. <laughs> but cool, cool. Anyways, I think I am probably going to go ahead and end this. It's been about 45 minutes now. Um, Thank you guys for the support tonight, and thank you for watching. If Unless anybody has other questions for me, I'm probably going to go ahead and end this for tonight. Um, first time fishing adventures or Paul Man, if y'all want to call me and critique the live stream for tonight, more than like, you can feel more than free to do so. I don't have to worry about waking up a wife or kid being out of town. So, anyways, I thank everybody for the support. Um, and any thumbs up I may have gotten, I think I've gotten five thumbs up off of this. So, I appreciate it. Y'all have a wonderful, awesome night. Be blessed and tight lines. And hopefully you'll catch lots of fish. All right, I will talk to y'all next Tuesday, and I do have a video coming out Thursday for you to watch. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Paul Man. I'm going to try to keep doing it as best as I can. I will talk to y'all. All right, and I am out.